Hi, my name's Avery Dean, and today I'm going to be talking about my Lego marionettes, Alpy and Lappy. And I'm Lappy, and today I'm going to talk about my Mabba Nabbit, the thing, uh, gravy bowl. <laughs> gravy bowl? Hi, my name's Alpy, and this is my Lego marionette, Avery. Wait, what? I'm not a marionette. This is my YouTube channel, not the Alpy and Lappy show. Welcome, 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 welcome to, to the, the Alpy, 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 Alpy and the Lappy, Lappy, Lappy show! Hey, Alpy, guess what? I'm a clock! Okay, clock, what time is it? I don't know. What is the time? Hey, if you don't know what time it is, then you're not a clock. Well, I never said I was a good clock. <laughs> it's the Alpy and Lappy show! With Lappy, and especially Lappy, and our special guest, Lappy. And Lappy's gonna tell us a poem, and Lappy's gonna show us this thing he crocheted out of old tires. Gravy bowl. Much better. So, anyway, today I'm going to be talking about these two puppets. This is Alpy, which stands for Autonomous Lego Puppet Interactive Experience. And this is Lappy, Lego Autonomous Puppet Interactive Experience. And they're both Lego marionettes, which means they're like puppets, but they're controlled with the strings. <laughs> These are entirely made of Lego, and it's all just bits from my Lego collection. And that includes some Hero Factory, Bionicles, regular Lego, and some Technics, and, of course, Lego Mindstorms. Lego Mindstorms makes everything more awesome. We made them for the Brick Show, and we won the Brick Show, which is awesome. And we showed them all around in lots of cool places, like What Now, the television show. That's how the Mindstorms works. You can code it on the computer and then download it into the EV3 Brick. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. On a traditional marionette, the puppeteer would move the strings to make the arms and legs move up and down. But in Alpi's case, he uses EV3 motors to make the arms move up and down. So the string that controls Alpi's hands goes all the way up to here and to this ship mast and I think it's from the Black Pearl and then it goes through here and onto this a wheel hub clockwise and the other hand winds around the wheel hub counterclockwise which means that when this motor turns the wheel hub one hand will have less string, one hand will have more string it'll make one hand go up and the other one go down. In addition to Alpi's hands going up and down, the mass that these strings go through is connected to a large EV3 motor, which means that Alpi can move his arms from side to side as well. Those four motors are connected to the EV3 brick, and the infrared sensor is connected on the other side to one of the sensor points. On Alpi's back, he has a second EV3 brick which plays the sounds and he has a medium motor that controls Alpi's eyes and a large motor which is moving his mouth. Alpi's controller is a bit simpler. One, I wanted it to be lighter so that I could carry it. And two, well, I ran out of motors making it so I had to use what was left, which is the three. It's got the same spool hub to control the arms and the spool hub for the legs as well. It's different because he actually has a string which is making his mouth open and close. Hello, my name is Rappi. What's interesting here is this motor is just spinning around and when it reaches the top of its arc, then his mouth would be open and when it reaches the bottom of the arc, his mouth would be closed, so that would make his mouth open and close. So that's how the puppets were made physically. Me and my dad spent about a week building the two puppets. I do like building, but my real interest is in the programming and the character building and the funny stuff he says. So I spent about a week doing that after the building was complete. I'm pretty proud of the fact that I did all the programming on my own without any help from anyone else. The biggest challenge in animating the puppets is there are three EV3 bricks controlling different parts of different puppets and I want them to be able to talk to each other. The solution for the problem was Bluetooth. The Mindstorms bricks have a Bluetooth system that you can control using an awesome Mindstorms Bluetooth messaging block. The way I've designed it, the brick that controls Albie's arms and legs is the master controller. So the master controller will send out a message to one of the other bricks, telling it what sound file to play. So the puppet will then say that sound file and send back a message when it's finished. 
In the same way, the master controller can send messages to Lappy, telling him what to do with his arms and his legs. There's a lot more programming that makes them work, but that's, in a nutshell, how the puppets do what they do. And, when you take that with the motors and the construction, you get a fully operational LEGO Mindstorms marionette. Hey, Nappy, let's count together to ten. Ooh, all the way to ten? That would be amazing! Here we go! One, seven, four, nine, zero, three, two, sixty-six, five, thirty-one, forty-two! Oh, and also ten! Wow, Alpy! We are amazing! Yeah, that was the best count to ten ever! It's, it's the Alpie Lappy Show! Hey Alpy! Hey, I've got an idea, Alpy! Let's sing a song! Good idea! Let's sing the song Muffin Smell! One, two, three... Muffin, muffin smells, muffin smells, smells don't smell all the way! Hey, thank you so much for watching our video. Please like to the bobbin on the subscribers so you can video all the more channel thumbs on the likes. Thank you.